Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to exclude products from discounts on Shopify. So this is how to remove and exclude certain products from the discount codes and discounts uh, and coupons that you apply on your Shopify store. So that's what we're going to be taking a look at here in today's video. And before we dive into things, of course, I do want to mention if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go and check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brendanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. It will take you right over to this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. Again, that's that first link down below in the video description. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial. So first things first, of course, you're gonna wanna make sure that you are logged into your Shopify store. Now it's important to keep in mind that Shopify does not actually have a specific feature to exclude certain products. Instead, you're going to have to go about it in a different way, which I'm going to be showing you, of course, here in today's tutorial. There's a couple of different options you have when it comes to excluding certain products. There is a little bit extra work that you have to do uh, for it to work within Shopify. So let's first go over here to the left-hand side and select discounts. And this is going to bring you to the discount section on Shopify, where you can go ahead and create new discounts. As you can see, I do have a few different other discounts in here from other tutorials, um, a lot of them maybe being site-wide sales where it just applies to all products. Uh, if you want to create a specific discount that is only applied to specific products and you're excluding others, here's how you're going to be going about doing that. So again, there's a couple different ways. I'll be showing you a few other alternatives as well. But what we're going to do is go ahead here on the top right hand corner and click create discount. This is going to be bringing up the discount menu where you can go through and select a variety of different types of discounts. You have free shipping, right? Uh, you have a mount off order. That would be the total order amount. We're not going to be selecting that one in this case because there's, there's really no way to exclude certain products from that type of discount. You also have buy X, get Y, uh, where you're discounting products based on a customer's purchase. Um, so you can do it that way as well, but it's a little bit more convoluted. Uh, the one that makes the most sense and the one we're going to be focusing here on this tutorial is the amount off products because you can discount specific products or collections of products. That's what we're going to want to select is the product discount for the amount off products. Now you, in theory, you could also do this, um, in free shipping in a way, but that's not really the focus. Um, but we're gonna be selecting amount off products, product discount, discount specific products or collections of products. So the top one there, that's what we're going to be selecting. Now you could do this as a discount code, um, or you could even run this uh, as an automatic discount as well. Um, depending on the types, just the way that you want the discount to apply. So realistically, you could go either way. You could do this as a discount code that you provide to customers. Um, say like, you know, uh, save uh, save uh, 20 or something like that, right? Uh, that could be your discount code. You can also generate a random one if you just want to copy paste it somewhere. Um, so it, it's up to you. You know, you could do either one. We're just going to go with save 20. Uh, to make it pretty simple here. Um, again, you can also make this an automatic, uh, an automated uh, discount as well. Um, if you want it to just automatically apply at checkout so that customers don't have to enter in a discount code, um, you can go either way on that. Does not affect this tutorial in any way, shape or form really. It just comes down to personal preference as to what you would prefer for the way that you're applying the discount. Now, for the main point of this tutorial is how to exclude certain products. So what you need to do um, is select the collections, um, which are essentially a grouping of products or even select the specific products that you want to discount. Um, so the discount value, you can do this as a percentage or a fixed amount. Um, personally, I prefer percentage. I think most customers probably prefer percentage-based discounts because we did save 20. Uh, we're just going to put 20%. Um, and then as you can see here, applies to specific, specific collections, one-time purchase. You can set this. If you have the subscriptions app, you, know, you can do it on both subscriptions, one-time purchase. We're just going to select one-time purchase specific collections. So in this case, and I'll show you what the collections actually look like. And if you want to create a custom one, how to do that a little bit later in this video. Um, but if we're going to be selecting it and specifying it by collections, I've already created a few different collections in this side, this store. Um, and these are the best way to like organize your products is to build out collections. So uh, in this case, we're just going to be applying this discount um, to the three jewelry products as well as the watch collection. Uh, just in this example for right this second. Um, 
and so you have jewelry and you have watch. Actually, you know what? Let's just do the watches just to keep things simple. Um, so we're going to add watches as the collection that has the specific discount on save 20. Um, minimum purchase amount. Uh, let's just put no minimum requirements. Um, you can also do quantity of items too if you want it to, you know, at least if you buy like three things or something, you, know, you can really select however you want on that. Um, does not really matter. You can apply it to all customers. Uh, you can also limit it. So it's limited uh, one uh, use per customer or the total amount of times it's going to be used in total. This could be good if you do like an email blast and you're like, first 500 customers. Um, that's where you can enter that in here if you would like to. Um, limit it one use per customer. You can also combine it with other discounts. So if you want to uh, allow people to combine it, just do be careful with some of these because they can create really large discounts. You might actually lose money. Be careful with the uh, combinations. And you can also set active dates. So you can set start and end dates. So we're just going to go ahead and save that discount here. Um, and we're going to go over to the store uh, to show you what I mean as far as how it's excluding it. So Currently, this is only applied to the products inside the watch collection. As you can see here, this is the watch collection. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add the Rolex watch to the cart. We're gonna add one of those to the cart. Uh, and then next, we are going to go to clothing because this uh, collection does not have it applied. Uh, we're gonna go to jeans and we're going to add that to cart as well. So you can kind of get what I mean. So we're gonna go back down to the cart um, and then we're going to go to checkout and then this will bring up the checkout page. Now, this is where you're going to enter in your discount code, um, which we have specified it to be save 20. Uh, we're going to go ahead and apply that discount. And as you can see here, it only is applying to the Rolex watch because jeans are not included inside the watch collection. This is essentially how you're excluding certain products from that discount because you only selected, or we only selected the watch collection. Jeans are not in that watch collection, so when customers go to enter that uh, coupon code, it will only apply to the products that are inside and selected for that discount code. So, um, and they can still enter it. So as you can see, even if they have multiple different types of products in their cart, um, customers can still enter in that code and it will only take the percentage off of the specific product um, that is available and listed for a given discount because we have it selected as an eligible product. Now, I get this is maybe a little bit more of a manual process instead of like excluding a list of products, you kind of have to go the other way around and more so give an inclusion list. So it is a little bit of an kind of uh, the opposite, but that's how you have to go about doing it to create excluded products from discounts in your Shopify store. Um, now, if you do want to do it a different way, there are a couple of other options. As you can see, we have jeans and Rolex watch uh, currently in that discount. So we're going to go ahead and uh, exit out of here just so that it refreshes and everything. Um, so we're going to go here and if you want to do this by specific products, that is also a good way to go about doing it. Now it can take you honestly a lot of time, especially if you have a big, like a lot of products, it might take you a long time to go through here and click every single product that you want to have on a given discount. Um, you know, so that can take a lot of time. What I would recommend is realistically, you're probably better off using specific collections. Now, say for example, you have certain products that aren't maybe in a collection yet. Well, so one other way you can go about doing it is you can go to your products, right? And then what you can do here, and this could be a good time saver potentially for you, is you can go to um, we're going to go ahead and select the watch and the beanie and we're going to go to to uh, Select so this is say if, for example, you wanted to select a certain Specific products that you want to include maybe you just want to include pretty much like all of them What you can do is and this can be a good time saver as is utilizing the bulk edit tool in Shopify is you can select all right to select all the products and then because they're all selected now all you have to do is then click on the ones that you want to exclude. So you could exclude like this finance planner and you know what, let's exclude the shirt and the beanie. Let's exclude those three. Now what we're going to do is bulk edit the ones that we had already selected. 
Then what we're going to do is go to columns and we're going to click tags. So now that we've added tags, um, what we can do is type to add another tag and we're going to put sale and then this sale tag we can apply that should be able to, you can go through here and add like the sale tag to the products um, inside the bulk editor, which can save you a lot of time in terms of, you know, I guess in this case, well, let's go ahead and save first and then, okay. So it's only going to show the gold one because it, we've, we didn't have that tag before. So let's go ahead and go back. Um, and it, once you have that tag in there, then once we go through here, let's select all, uncheck the beanie, uncheck the finance planner and the shirt. And we're gonna go to bulk edit. And then what we're going to do here is, wow, well, we're just gonna have to go ahead and add these manually is add the sale tag, add the sale tag. So you see what I'm doing here is I'm adding a specific tag to the products that you want to be able to be put on sale. Um, and so that can then in a second here, I'll show you what that looks like inside the discount editor um, because that can save you some time as well. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and, and leave it on those couple products. So we have sale, sale, sale. Um, let's just go ahead and click save just so, since we've already added it to at least a few products. And now we have that sale tag. The importance of adding these tags, and this can be a good way for you just to keep track of things overall in your store as to maybe certain products that you want to be able to discount or to be able to put on sale, you have them tagged. And then when you go to discounts, we go back to the save 20, since we've already created this one, we are going to instead, instead, um, when we go to the discount, we don't have the collection built yet because we have to do that right now. So we're gonna go ahead. Yeah, you need still a specific collection. This will just leave it on watches for now. Um, what you're going to need to do is then go to collections. So products, collections, and then we're going to create a new collection called sale. So this is a sale collection. Now you don't have to link to this really anywhere on your store. This can just be a, a collection that you keep sort of like almost privated in a way. Um, it's not necessarily something that you will show on your store. Like you're not gonna necessarily link to this from the main nav. If you want to, you can. Um, maybe you create a sale collection and you just throw all your sale products in there. Uh, that's something you could do as well. Um, but what we're gonna do is click automated. Now this is where you're able to then utilize those tags. So the tag is equal to sale. And so then we're gonna go ahead and click save. And now all those products that we added the sale tag to are automatically added here. Um, and it will automatically add those to this sale collection if you go and add that tag to other products as well. Um, so it will then add them to this sale collection, which is sort of your short list of products that you want to be able to be on sale, um, which can just be another way to go about creating collections and creating you know, categories of products that you want to put on sale um, is by utilizing the tag functionality. Uh, you could also do it based on the title or the category that you have for a certain product. Um, but the sale tag is a nice easy tag that you can add to products. Um, to show you what it looks like even just on a specific product page. If we go to the beanie, um, because we excluded this one, this one shouldn't show here. Um, so as you can see, we don't have any tags here. Um, but if we have the sale tag on it, then it would show there. Um, let's go back to one that does have the sale tag. Uh, so as you can see here, the 18 karat gold watch, and we have the sale tag here. And then what we're going to do is go to discounts, back to save 20, and we are going to select the specific collection, the uh, sale collection, we gotta go make sure. So sometimes you have to like refresh these things a few different times because they are not going to populate occasionally. Um, so certain collections or things like that, sometimes we're gonna go re-add the watch one. Um, and then we're gonna go back 
you know, back to products, back to collections. See, we have the sale one in here. Sometimes you just got to refresh Shopify, give it a second. As you can see here, now we have the sale collection. Product tag is equal to sale. We're going to go back to discounts. It should show in here now. Um, bear with me. Sometimes Shopify just, you got to reload, refresh things a few times. And then we're going to browse the collections. And as you can see here, now the sale one is in there. We're going to go ahead and add sale and click save. So now this collection will automatically populate with the products that you put the sale tag on in the future. So you can sort of like only put it on ones that you want to come into this 20% uh, off sale um, code. So if we go here, we go back to the catalog, you know, the beanie was not included uh, in there. So that's just another way to go about doing it. We're gonna add that to cart, back to the main catalog, add the beanie. And we're going to go back to the checkout page. And as you can see here, the save 20, we have the jeans are now on it. We took out the Rolex watch because it is only that sale category tag and the beanie is not. So as you can see, you basically want to just go about creating custom collections. You can either do it manually or you can add sale tags kind of through the bulk editor with the tags. Um, or you could just add those specific products to a given collection and then you add the collections inside here um, which i think doing it through collections is a lot easier than doing clicking all the different products in here within the discount section just adding them to a collection and then adding them here i think is a lot easier and then as you can see here we have excluded the rolex watch now we've excluded the regular beanie and we just have those two products that are eligible for that save 20. Um, now you can market this on your store any which way you want maybe through like text or banners and things like that um, but that's how you go about excluding products again it really comes down to how you build out your collections uh, and how you specify things that way if you want to go through tags to the collections any way you go about building out those collections, that's how you're going to include all the products and then exclude it through this specific type of amount off products, product discount, um, through the discount value and uh, selecting what products or collections it applies to. Um, and then as you can see here, it's auto, it is then applying in the checkout once we add that save 20 discount code. So guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Again, if you don't already have a Shopify store, you go ahead and check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brandvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. It'll take you right over this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. Again, that's that first link down below in the video description. If you guys found this tutorial helpful or enjoyed it, then be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway, guys, that's all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.